Hey everyone, if you have rare US and world coins you want to sell, watch this video till the end and I'll show you where you can put some for sale. Tens of thousands of dollars just for a penny, no, it's not struck on precious metal of any kind, just 95% copper, 5% tin and zinc. What about mintage then? It must have been produced in limited amounts, but once again no, mintage is massive, over 245 million. So what makes this attractively toned penny so valuable is that it is kept in almost pristine condition and it features potent luster, distraction-free surfaces and immaculate strike. PCGS assigned MS68 plus red for this wheat penny. It's almost impossible to find any 1935 cent with this plus designation. PCGS reported just three specimens in this grade so far, including this gem with non finer. It fetched the sum of $55,125 with buyer's fee at Great Collections Auction. This is 1948 Franklin half dollar in MS68 condition, with full bell lines. Additionally, it is star designated by NGC. The 1948 was the first year of the issue for the Franklin half dollar. The previous year, 1947, was the first year the mint issued mint sets in the now widely recognized flat packs. Each mint that produced coins in a given year had a separate cardboard holder. What is important to know about this packaging is each holder had a significant presence of sulfur in its composition, which in turn produced magnificent toning on at least one side, sometimes both as seen here. The surfaces display rich original multicolor toning, deeper on obverse than the reverse. Here is 1961 Jefferson Nickel in MS66 condition with full steps. A find for the advanced Jefferson Nickel enthusiasts, this George's upper end gem is essentially brilliant with intense satin white luster, virtually blemish free with an impressively sharp strike that sets this coin apart from the vast majority of circulation strike 1961 nickels produced. As specialists in this modern series know all too well, the Philadelphia Mint paid a little attention to quality for the high mintage circulation strike Jefferson issue that it produced during the early to mid 1960s. The result of the 1961 represented here is a full steps example is that the full steps examples are rare even in the lowest mean state grades. It ended up selling for $10,800 at Stax Powers auction. Here is 1914D wheat penny in MS65 red condition. 1914D Lincoln Sand is a coin that was minted in 1914 at a Denver Mint in the United States. It is highly regarded by collectors and numismatists due to its scarcity and historical significance. MS65 grade signifies a high quality grade with excellent eye appeal, luster, and minimal imperfections. Sold on May 23, 2023, for $10,200 at Heritage Auctions. Here is 1913 half dollar in PR67 condition, a richly toned gem. Only 188,000 examples of the 1913 half dollar were struck for circulation, plus 627 proofs for collectors. This super gem proof is richly toned in shades of golden orange, steel blue, and violet. Quality is exceptional. It was sold on May 22, 2023, for $3,960 at heritage auctions. As is 1941 Jefferson Nickel in PR68 condition, lightly and evenly toned in pewter grey iridescence, under direct lighting, the surfaces reveal vivid multicolored undertones of golds and blues. Universally reflective in finish, both sides exhibit full striking detail and pristine looking features. It was bargained for $4,800 at Stax Powers auction. Thanks for watching guys, keep following us on YouTube and don't forget to hit the like button.